The VIP judges have got a bit of a gap, so we're going to rush in now and see how they're all getting on. Let's go. I hope you don't mind me just busting in here. I just, like, just want to find out how you're all doing. Hi, Andrew. Hello. Um, how many have you seen so far? Uh, we've seen three so far, I think, and yeah, strong as ever. Really? Very, very impressed with the standards. The standards just, it seems to get higher every year. It's just really um, amazing seeing people's creative projects that they've been working on all year. They're pitching business ideas. It's not just a science fair to these, these people. No, and it shouldn't be because part of science and engineering is if you are creating a product, well, someone needs to use it. And if you don't think about how much it costs, how you're going to sell it, how you're going to get it out to market, then, well, it's just going to sit in your bedroom. So what's been really impressive about a lot of these entries here today is that they've thought about, well, what are the next steps? How are we going to actually make this real? So you've got to be careful what I say because we've got a past winner here. <laughs> <laughs> How is it being sat on that side of the table? It's a bit like a role reversal. It feels a little bit like I've, um, I don't know, I feel slightly like an imposter at times. I feel like I should be over there, but, um, but it's really nice to be, yeah, to be on um, the receiving end of all these amazing ideas. I wouldn't miss this for the world. I get inspired by these uh, young students coming in with what they do. A lot of them finding time outside of their everyday studies to be able to dedicate time to building prototypes. It's, it shows creativity, it shows a mix of arts, but also an understanding of science. And it's, it's really inspiring just watching them speak up so passionately about their solutions. Uh, I'm just blown away by the whole thing. I think there's hundreds of fantastic projects out there, any of which could win. We only get to see the top five and it's going to be really hard to pick a winner. I can imagine it's an absolute pleasure to sit here and hear that you know your top five finalists, but I don't envy you at all because you've got to pick one at the end of this. Um, so good luck, everybody. Andrew, do you have any cakes? Oh. <laughs> I know, for the third year in a row, I've not brought any cake. <laughs>